Hi guys, it's Ann here, and today's video is my mid-year project plan update. I am apologizing right now for the layout and the setup. I, I just want to get through this video really quickly because I do want to post it. Um, I have a foster puppy with me right now. He's actually sitting right behind me. So <laughs> this will be challenging to film. We did get through one video already. Then we had a bit of a meltdown after that. So, I mean, he's a great boy. He's a really good personality, but we do have some things to work on. I only have him for a couple of weeks, um, and then he'll be up for adoption. So, anyway, let's try and get through this video. Again, apologize if I don't look so great. There'll be lots of pictures, so you don't have to look at my face. And stay tuned to the end of the video. There'll be a little surprise, aka a giveaway, to uh, announce as well. So the first product to update you on is the It Hair Care 12-in-1 Leave-In Treatment. So you'll see in the photo here that I have made major project progress since the beginning of the year. Most of it has been in the last month or so. It's because I switched over to using it as a shaving cream sometimes. I don't use it every time as a shaving cream because I don't really like it uh, that much. Um, but it's a way to get it used up, so I'm not concerned that I will be able to finish this up by the end of the year. The next product is the ColourPop Lip Liner in O-Snap. Of the two lip liners, I'll probably get through this one more, but I don't think I'll finish it by end of year. I'll be surprised if I finish it by end of the year anyway. Um, but we'll see. I did make pretty good progress in July, so I think I can at least get it down to a pretty small size. The third product is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Illumination. Now, this product, I don't have any pictures of this product because, as you can see, you can't see through it. Um, I can't see through it, and I can't weigh it. Um, it's so light that it like I can't doesn't register on my scale so but I can tell like the last few times that I used it like I really had to squeeze to get something out um, this product is sort of like on hold right now because it's way too light for me for the summertime so the fourth product is the Tarte CC primer light I'm not sure if it'll focus on this can you can you see that a little bit of a casualty almost almost was a full-on casualty from the foster. One of the things we're working on is chewing. Definitely a process. I definitely think I can get through this. I just need to focus on using it um, because when I do use it, the product is very creamy, so I am getting through it quickly when I do use it. Um, and I do have to be careful that I use, or not careful, but I have to be conscious to use it up over like the summer months because it is a bit orangey, like a bit darker. Um, so it's working for me right now, but come like October, it definitely be too dark so I want to try and get that used up um, before Thanksgiving is kind of like my brain brain target in Thanksgiving in Canada which is October so the next product is the pure 4 in 1 pressed mineral makeup in the shade porcelain I'm not sure if you can see in the picture any usage on this there is usage for some reason this year I have just not been that great at using pressed powder I do actually that's that is not true using this press powder. I have another press powder that I'm actually using right now because again that product is too light for me for the summer um, and the other product I'm actually using quite a bit of it um, because it's kind of nice to use um, the other product as like if I don't really want to use foundation I just use the powder but I'm honestly knowing seeing or thinking about this now the pure foundation don't really like it um, but again I'll try and use as much of it as I can throughout this project. The Tarte Muse Cheek Stain. Now this is at like a weird stage that there doesn't seem to be a lot of product yet. There's still a lot of product, if you know what I mean. Um, partially too because you don't have to use a lot of it, but I definitely think I'll be able to finish this up before the end of the year. The next product is the Josie Moran Coconut Water Jelly. So I'll just show you this from the side because I don't think, um, it looks like I haven't used it. But I've used it. I've used it like almost every day the past month. It's just one of those products that I think is never going to get finished. Um, I'll probably just end up tossing it at some point. I, I like the color. I like um, it does blend in really nicely and it looks really fresh. Um, I just don't like the packaging like in that little tub. It's really hard to get out. Um, and it's definitely kind of old. So not too sure on the um, expiration on that. The next product is the Annabelle Blush Duo in Doll Face. This is another one that even though I've used quite a bit, there's the foster. <laughs> Even though I've used quite a bit of this product, hi Cooper, who's a good boy, who's a good boy. Even though I've used quite a bit of this product, 
Um, I don't know if I'll hit pan on the one side, but I, I think it's, it's so hard pressed and you don't need to use a lot of it, but I'll be surprised. It's definitely gone down. Like I can see, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but I definitely can see it in person that the darker shade has gone down. But again, if you can pan on that, it's probably going to be, if I do, it's going to be in like November. So product number 10 is the NARS Laguna Bronzer, and I finished it. Yay! Finished that ages ago. Sorry, the lighting is really weird right now. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to film this. The Butter Bronzer, so my original goal here written down was hit pan. Obviously did that, did that months ago. And so now I'm just trying to use up as much of the product as I can. So I definitely think I will use a lot of the product, but will I finish it by the end of the year? I Probably not, but I think I'll probably do pretty good damage. So the surprise winner in all of this is the Benefit What's Up. I um, actually finished it. So I, truth be told, I did actually, it was so close to being done and I didn't realize I had it like twisted up. Um, so it looks really, really gross because I'm going to focus on this. It looks super gross because uh, I squished it in the cap a little. But I scraped it out with the end of a makeup brush and squished it back in. Right then it was pretty like mushy so I was able to like finish that little last bit really, really quickly. The next product is the Oprah Bliss Highlighter. I'll be surprised if I hit pan on this, but I still want to keep this in the project pan because I feel like by having it in the project pan, it's forcing me to remember to use it. Because otherwise, I don't know if I would use it or not. Truth be told, I now have other highlighters that I like better, but it definitely was one of my favorites when I had it uh, originally. Another product that I definitely won't have an issue using is the Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner. This is getting pretty low. I'm getting to the point where it's actually getting difficult to sharpen. I don't know how, I don't know how people do it and they like sharpen it like super low. Four more products here. The Makeup Forever Lipstick. So that's a product that's sort of like on hold right now um, because it's just not the right color for summertime. So I'll get back to that in the fall and I definitely think by fall, um, to me it's a very fall type lipstick. So I think I'll fly through that in the fall. The other product that I finished was the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Nude. I'm already on a second fresh uh, lip balm in Rose, and I'm almost on that one too. So I'm super proud of myself that I'm finishing lip balms left, right, and center right now. The second last product is the ColourPop Lip Pencil in Contempo. This one I probably won't get through too much. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Again, I'm really struggling to use lip liners for some reason. I didn't realize that they would be difficult to use and I was surprised like having two in the thing in the uh, product pan I thought oh well these will be good because they sharpen them and I'll get use out of them. And the last product is the Rimmel Lip Gloss and yay I have progress on this so I have been using this too. Okay so real quickly here I have a giveaway. There's not a whole lot here but there's some really nice things in here. Um, just to quickly show you, I've got the Tutti Fruity Sparkling Pineapple Palette. Um, this came with the closet that I bought myself the other one, the raspberry one. Sorry, there is the Becca Emma Summer Glow, uh, Glow Gloss in the shade uh, Malibu Soleil. This is with the Chrissy Teigen. And there's like a little thing of wipes in here, a little solid blush, uh, brush cleanser. Um, we've got and Ilya Mascara Deluxe Size. There is, oh, so a couple things. So there's a full size of Good Molecules Wake Up Partners. And there is this little, um, I had a, a double of this. Anyway, I'll show a picture of this with all the products in, and the information will be down below on how to enter. I need to end this video because somebody is driving me crazy right now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I'll see you sometime soon.